What's up guys, this is Golden Badger, and today I am back with something different for you guys. I'm finally going to be starting up my State of Decay 2 Let's Play, and I'm going to be starting a brand new let a brand new community for you guys, and I'll take you guys around um, my three starting members of the community. So we got Rain, or Kevin McDonald, we got David Carver, and we got Matthew Young. So, uh, Rain is a special a specialized in craftsmanship as well as uh, David is specialized in craftsmanship and Matt Matthew is uh, specialized in the law they all have decent cardio and that's about it okay so um, yeah so I'm gonna start up the community right now and my purpose with this community is to basically be um, a bad person okay so I'm gonna be playing as a military group that's why I um, decided to go with three persons with ooh Meeker Valley. I like this map as well. Um, with three people with and the army fatigues. Again. So I'll just let this play out. To find more fuel. Not me. Last time I was choked to death on a bloater. I got a better idea. Okay. We could just settle down here instead of moving on. I admit it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. It does. I don't like the fro though. That's feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we're setting okay. a new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know the drill. Come on. So I did not anticipate the fro guy. Uh, I did not anticipate that hair. Anyway, um, so guys, you can probably tell I have three people with army fatigues. That's because I'm going to be trying to do a let's play with only army personnel. Okay, and also a warlord as a leader. So I'll check out the, the people right now. Who is a warlord? I need a warlord. No warlords, so that means we're gonna... It's gonna be a while until we find uh, someone who can lead our community basically so first things first let's check out the trunk of the car boom that's what I'm talking about so always check the trunk of your car first before you go off and uh, loot bases and places and stuff because you might have fuel if you don't there might be fuel nearby so you don't have to come back for the car at, at a later date um, which is pretty pretty useful you can just hop in the car with all of you hello and uh, move to your base right away so definitely always check the trunk of your car and check your environment for fuel um, if you don't know how to find fuel um, basically anything that looks like it can, could contain fuel it basically could so if you find like a small fuel can or a gas can or like a, a container whatever if it looks like it can have fuel it can probably have fuel so that's always one of the uh, positives about the game is that loot is very well placed in the game. It's very well distributed in locations. So here we have to like walk around the whole house to see if there's every anything out of the ordinary that we have to kill any Zeds. By the way, if this is your first State of Decay 2 Let's Play that you see on YouTube and you haven't played the game for yourself, this is not how the game usually starts. This is how the game starts after you finish it one time and you play with a different community. This is basically these these people I could choose myself. I decided that these three people are going to be my people and if you start up the game at first you don't have that choice. You basically have four, four groups to choose from and all tutorial mission thing pops up and you can you can play through that for a little immersion in story but this is not how it starts so still something we have to explore oh yeah right we're in meager valley so there's a garage that we have to check Just kill him first let's move to the garage uh, I do not advise sprinting at all in this game except for when you have to run away from an enemy but due to the fact that I'm not playing this with a capture card and I have to basically record everything with the Xbox features included in the cons console uh, I'm going to be rushing it a, a little bit because I can only record 10 minutes at a time that's why if you see weird cuts in the gameplay um, that's why okay because my cat my uh, 
uh, content capture stops at 10 minutes, and I have to record my voice on a different, on a different, in a different way. So, yeah, that's the reason why. If you're, if you're wondering, I'm only going to be doing 20 or 30 minute episodes. I think 20 because it's easier to edit. I don't have like an external hard drive either, so I'm actually making do with what I have right now. Just because I love playing games and I love sharing sharing my experience with get playing games or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's also a way if you want to put anything in the supply locker, just go to your trunk and then you can see down down in the corner RT to transfer to base. Boom, and it's in your supply locker in the base automatically. That's pretty useful. One thing I love about this map is that it's so cheery and happy. It's uh, everything's farmland and that big mountain in the in the distance right there. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Now, the first things first. The uh, the base that I want to move to eventually is down here, Whitney Field. But uh, before that, probably Camp Kalenqua or the maybe Mazara Farm because it has some nice some nice things or maybe maybe like Mike's concrete I'm not sure yet um, if you're wondering what bases are in this map um, I, co I actually covered every single uh, home base in this map so yeah if you're wondering about that definitely check out the channel please make sure to like any videos you watch if you like them uh, subscribe to me if you want to if you want to see these videos on a more daily base basis and if you want to support the channel um, yeah comment and tell me what you want to see in the next video also the thing with YouTube nowadays is um, the more likes I get the more people actually get recommended my videos so I get more views and potentially more subscribers and stuff and that always helps me out and it keeps me motivated we are doing so well on the subscriber part in three weeks I got like over 100 subscribers and for me that's fucking amazing okay so definitely definitely thank you so much to all of you that are um, supporting me and sticking with me with the channel as well um, this guide uh, this let's play actually is going to be um, a little bit guided I'm going to give you a little tips and tricks along the way so if you're if you're curious about that definitely tune in from time to time um, also also going to be recommending good stuff bad stuff showing you where the good loot is where where you shouldn't huh. like I waste your time so that's definitely something you should look out for as well and that being said let's uh, do this this is always useful to check out new vehicles a Norma truck that's good I love Norma trucks they uh, remind me of the first game if you haven't played the first game the Norma truck was a very nice uh, I mean not not a nice car but a run down like flatbed truck which I loved so yeah um, and by the way if you're wondering this is not a state of the K2 YouTube channel um, this is a gaming YouTube channel I play all sorts of games I have a God of War let's play going on as well um, I'm streaming it so it's large episodes on YouTube right now but if you tune in when the live stream starts uh, it's always good fun and I, I love talking to subscribers and stuff uh, listening to advice and everything you want to tell me and yeah in the in the future I'm looking to cover different PlayStation and Xbox games for example Fallout 76 definitely gonna play it uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 <laughs> it's already pre-ordered pre like a year ago they recently called me to ask me what edition I wanted because th at the time when I uh, first pre-ordered it which was the time that it was in uh, the first trailer was announced they didn't have like special editions yet so <laughs> they called me and said hey well, you wanna upgrade <laughs> so I said yeah sure so Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely coming to the channel as well um, and whatever else game whatever other games you want to see man just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll probably make it happen okay I'm doing this YouTube thing for you guys not for me I mean also for me because I'm a gamer and uh, if I play games a lot why not do something with it right and I think we have one more thing to loot which I uh, went to oh right there the barn okay so I'm gonna like cut a little bit until I get back to you because the recording is going to stop at any second now alright just a sec okay here we go we should be good right now uh, the recording stopped I had to restart the recording um, so yeah 
Uh, I hope it isn't too annoying for you guys. If it is, let me know. Um, this coming summer, I am going to be working. So I'll definitely have some money to spend after the summer ends. So I can buy a capture card, a decent microphone because I need it. And an uh, external hard drive to basically store all my footage on. Because if I don't, everything is going to get lost and I don't want that. And I don't hope, I hope you, you guys don't want that either. Okay, so here we go. Um, I definitely recommend not using a follower in the beginning of the game because um, you have so few people. You have a few people only, so if you are going to be using a follower, that is going to make that character tired and not. I mean, it's going to deny you the option of using him in the future, like in the near future. Oh shoot, right, I have to still upgrade the base. I totally forgot that, so let's clear that out. Let's, re let's repair that. Now let's build nothing over there. Okay, so a good way to get rid of these is just drive back and boom, do a power slide. That's a good way to get rid of any unwanted zombies. Yeah, that plague guard we're not going to be taken care of in at any time yet. Uh, I'm going to, if you haven't seen it, I have a guide on that as well. I basically use one weapon only for plague hearts, which is the 50 caliber sniper rifle. Okay, it's three shots on any plague heart, and it's a guaranteed kill. There's the Norma truck. This place? But here we go. What do we need? Materials. Okay, let's look for materials. So these garages are a good place to look for materials. Um, it's always good to like check out the big boxes first. They have the more chance. They are more likely to have uh, a rucksack of materials for you. Like I said, thank you very much. And some fuel, which is always, always good. So I'm gonna quickly store this in the back of my truck right now. And it's actually becoming nighttime. And I'm going to try and not make any let's plays during the night because it's difficult to see on YouTube, especially if you're like watching this in broad daylight. So I'm going to try and only record during the daytime unless I really have to with missions popping up and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to try and make that happen for you. Some bullets, always useful. And I think that's it right now. Yes, it is. So let's... Did I see something? No, I didn't. So let's put... The heavy stuff in there. Boom. Um, it's better, sure. Let's let's do it. Five pounds. Let's put that in there as well. A Molotov cocktail. I'm not gonna deposit because I can always use it when I run into something else. And yeah, so let's quickly take a, a look around. And you know what? I actually might as well show you guys how to access your pre-order bonus oh my gosh why does this happen to me why does this happen to me gosh darn it here we go okay so how to use your pre-order bonus go to your radio supply drops and they're all free okay so I'm gonna do the ranged weapon first let's look for it there we go here we are. So, the pre-order bonus are very nice weapons, which I love a lot. And my favorite one is actually this one. So I'm going to equip this as well. And I like keeping my NPCs, my survivors, equipped with weapons at all times. Just because um, they can fend for themselves that way. Also, what I like about Meager Valley is that everything's farmland, so you can... I mean, basically, thr uh, drive through the whole map as the crow flies, as the crow, as the crow flies, so you can get to your objective faster. But in a map like Drucker County or Cascade Hills, that isn't that isn't possible because there's hills and rocks and stuff. And here you can just drive through whatever you want to. I mean, most of the time, though. I mean, like, there's obviously places. Anyway, okay, here we are at the base. Boom, let's deposit that, this and this. Also this, let's put this in the trunk as well. Boom, boom. And there we go. So that's all deposited in the supply locker right now. Uh, let's test out the gun. Yeesh. 
beautiful. But I prefer I prefer the single fire mode. So let's check this out real quick. And then we're going to end the episode there because it's getting a it's getting a little long right now. I mean, it's not getting too long. It's uh, we're at 15 minutes. But I don't want to make it too long just so I can edit it and upload it more quickly. For you guys, obviously, because I hope to entertain people with this let's play. I mean, if, if I'm not entertaining people, if people don't enjoy watching me, why the hell am I making videos? So here we are. Why does this always happen to me? There's a bridge right there. Would you like to come in? Oh, dear lord. I think we're screwed. Fuck that car. I don't like these cars anyway. There's an armor truck further down the, down the road, so... Who cares? And we're leveling up the cardio as well. So what is up? That's me, and yeah, we will do. Coke! That's not a good name. Uh, I'm not going to be adding any of these survivors to my community, by the way. I'm not going to be adding any survivors to my community unless they have army fatigues, okay? So these all all that these guys want is just some um the safest way to collect samples uh blood plate samples I think to the dock where's the dock is it you yeah can I please talk to you see see she looks she wants uh, blood plate samples yeah I know um so I think that this is where we're gonna end it probably. Let's kill this guy. Okay. We be good. There we are. Fuel? We need fuel? Okay, let's look for fuel then. We're not gonna fuel in here. Oh maybe in this. No. Let's take a look. Firecrackers, always useful. Uh, I did see a utility shed a little further back the route right there I mean this is bound to have some fuel yep right there gas can and this is what I mean gas cans you will always have to look for these like I said guys loot where you think it is it probably will be so that's fuel okay so uh, guys thank you so much for watching I hope you had an awesome time um, I hope that this let's play does well um, I'm setting a like goal this first time I'm doing it so if we can get um, 15 likes or no 10 likes on this video by uh, let's say the end of the week like Sunday uh, I'll be very very happy obviously I'll continue it because I love State of Decay I know you guys love State of Decay and uh, thank you so much for watching if you um, if you enjoyed it forget don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see like a guided let's play of me doing this hope you have a great day i hope to see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for tuning in goodbye